to finish our quest. Redneck Archaeology. Hello, I'm Jackson Burns. I'm the Redneck Archaeologist. And boy, do I have some deep doo doo stuff I found today. Uh, I've been uh, researching the John F. Kennedy assassination for about 37 years now. Uh, I started when I was really, really young. And I've met everybody that's been involved with that somehow or another. A lot of the researchers I've uh, Gary Mack, I've met Groden, Robert Groden. Um, Gerald Posner, Posner, whatever, Posner. Uh, a lot of the guys there at, at Dealey Plaza also. I've only been there like a couple of times, about three times I've only been to Dealey Plaza, but you gotta go there to check it out if you're going to uh, be involved with the JFK assassination or be one of the conspiracy theory types or whatever. Uh, there's overwhelming evidence that it was a conspiracy and that there was more than one shooter. I mean, it's, uh, you can look at it and, and say, oh yeah, the Patsy, uh, Oswald, he was definitely the guy that did it. And yeah, it's easy to see, but it's also easier to be an, a Patsy, which then that's exactly what he said he was, is a Patsy. I mean, this guy was pretty flaky, uh, really flaky out in left field sometimes, uh, whether he was involved uh, as an FBI agent or CIA, uh, that's still out to debate. I mean, there, are, there is some evidence that he was. Uh, however, uh, the, the evidence that nobody really points to is a Mormon uh, photograph. And with, if you look at the Mormon photo photograph, I mean, it's been done forever. Uh, analysts like Gary Mack and, and whatnot, uh, Groden too, have taken this photograph, a Polaroid photograph taken by Mary Mormon. Uh, ex exactly the headshot, or just right after the headshot, uh, uh, from what a lot of people say, the grassy no. However, I was looking through, uh, uh, just, I get these JFK things all the time on YouTube, but I found somebody who had done some work on analyzing this, uh, at least a Mormon photograph, colorizing it and all this other. And I thought, well, you know, why don't I just go ahead and look at this photograph myself? I mean, I've done it from every other position, even where the smoke slowly came out um, from down near the bridge, the railroad bridge. I said, well, why don't let's try that? And then I started looking at it, and lo and behold, after you blow it up about a thousand percent, you can see two uh, shooters, or at least a spotter and a shooter in this photograph, but they're closer to Abraham Sapruder, basically behind Abraham Sapruder, who was the guy who took the infamous uh, Zapruder uh, headshot film, or the film of President Kennedy getting shot. Uh, from the side of the grassy no, or the uh, pergoda, they call it the concrete pergoda. Uh, which is where he was standing. And if you look at the photograph, you will see uh, Zapruder, Abraham Zapruder and his secretary, she's steadying him because Zapruder had, um, you know, was afraid of heights and basically she had to steady him. So if you watch this, you'll see that uh, there's actually two men in the back. There's one in a window, the other seems to be holding a window, looking down, he's wearing glasses. And then there's one with a dark shirt that's appearing around the corner, and he seems to either, uh, he's looking, he would, if he was shooting, he would be holding a rifle in his left hand. Uh, he would be left-handed. I believe he's shooting, I believe he's a spotter for the other man uh, who was shooting through the window. And you can kind of see Zapruder and the secretary reacting to that shot, uh, even moving away a little bit. So, so 
Now the lineup from where these men are supposedly shooting from that window and the other guy peering around the corner uh, exactly matches up to the hit in the side of the head. What was described by witnesses and what uh, his reaction is from both the Orville Nix uh, film. and the Zapruder film. Uh, you can see his reaction to being hit. A lot of people say it's a blowback uh, from being hit from the school book depository. And that's not true. It's, it was basically a side shot. And so you can see that side shot, even if it was coming from an angle, sort of what they say is true. Uh, but it still pushes him back and over and down. Uh, you can see the lineups that I'm going to, that I'll show with the uh, arrows. Yeah, the mystery deepens. I think that the most of it back in those days is no one was used to people having cameras. And with JFK being like the very first fully filmed and photographed murder in history of a political person uh, so well covered so many different angles, they never expected that. And but however, it's been so many years uh, with an analyst going through all these photographs and, and, and tapes and videos and films, uh, it's kind of strange that no one's found the two shooters behind Zapruder. There's only one other guy that I know of, and that's who I stole all this information from. going to show this here for the first time and uh, remember this is a first and so get ready for all the fallout. JFK, the man who killed him.
Burns. I'm Jackson Burns, redneck archaeologist, and if I'm disappeared, you know what happened.